accidentally deleted the intro to the vlog, so I'm making it even though I've already filmed our entire evening. What is up you guys? Welcome to the cruise vlog. Very excited to be here. <laughs> it's currently Monday. We've been on the cruise since Saturday, but I decided to not vlog anything until today just because I wanted time to spend like with family and we were still trying to figure out the ship and stuff like that, but it's been a lot of fun. We've gone to shows, comedy clubs, like little concerts, mm -hmm. game shows, yep. and what else? Oh, the escape room today? Mini golf. Mini golf. We have done a lot of things today, so, well, that wasn't just today. We've done a lot of things since we've been on the ship, mm -hmm. and there's lots more to come, but I just wanted to enter the vlog since I accidentally already deleted the intro, and say welcome back or welcome if you're new. I'm here on a Royal Caribbean seven day Eastern Caribbean cruise. We're going to St. Martin's, St. Thomas, and Coco Cay. We're actually going to St. Martin's tomorrow. So I'm gonna take you guys with me for that. We're gonna walk around the town, go to the beach and stuff like that. Okay, he's getting restless so I have to go. But <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. Also, our room is really messy already because we've been here for the past three days, but I don't really need to do room tour because this is pretty much it. We have like a little desk. Are you okay? <laughs> we have a couch, which we've been throwing clothes on, the bed's over there, and then the bathroom's right here, so you can literally see it all in one glance. And this is literally my sister and Colin's room, right next door. This is literally my parents' room, right down the hallway. Elevator, should we go this way? Oh, we didn't go downstairs. Yes. So this is the sixth floor. We have a, a bar over there, down here. We're at the Bionic Bar, which is basically, you enter drink order on the iPad over there, and then the robots make it for you. I'm having him do a drink so that I can show you guys what it looks like, but it's actually really cool. And they make the drinks very strong. All right, you gotta scan your key there. What are you gonna do? So you can create your own drink or you can do one of like the, no it's okay, just go, cause there's people waiting behind us. Mm. So then he entered his drink and it's gonna pop up here and it'll show you when it's making it and then the robots make the actual drink, it's insane. This is all like alcohol. Crazy! Cheers! Right, how is it? It's pretty good. Actually? Yeah. It looks really sus. I'm not gonna lie. Jameson and ginger ale. Oh, okay. That's probably why that color looks like that. Then it's, it looks like. Is it strong? Yeah, really, yeah, really. Oh, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't know if I'll finish all this before dinner. Uh oh, because I like to have nice. But I think you glass. you can bring that into dinner. Oh, I can. I think so. I don't think everywhere we're gone, I feel like they let you take the stuff in. Right. Look who it is! Howdy. <laughs> what are you drinking? Pineapple guava ice cream. Oh, you've been having a lot of those. You like those. What did you get? This is the Goombay Smash. Oh, you like those too. This is their key drink. That's all they've had on the cruise. I just showed them the Robo Bar. And I met a woman from Oklahoma. Um. <laughs> That was six months ago. <laughs> Wait, so where's mine? Mine was about four years ago, a few days. <laughs> That's so funny. Happy 21st. Welcome to the boardwalk. The carousel. Literally, Symphony of the Seas. We're going to Playmakers Arcade to do ski ball. It's broken. Everyone's birthday, happy birthday. Uh oh. Kids are getting in trouble. <laughs> oh, you have some ski ball up there. Because we have a big tournament. Oh, yeah, tournament? Big yeah. tournament. We have three nice ones up there. Okay. Yeah, it's really important. You have these horses. <laughs> what do you do with it? Big ship. Update, we found a better arcade. Wait, this is like, this is like not skee-ball though. That is. Oh, that is. 
This is bowling. We could bowl. Oh, you bowl first. Okay, okay. I'm going to get drinks. <laughs> Yeah, I think you should match me. You want to get a floppy hat to match me? Do I? Yeah. Uh, I don't think they look well on my face. They look no. better on you. Only off the boat, on the island, as you guys have seen. And we're shopping around. I bought this floppy hat because my face is having a quite the reaction from the sun. Wow. I don't think it's supposed to go that way. Yeah, but it's just got a quick coffee at this little hotel. Super cute. Love the trees. Super cute. Soup's cute. Ooh. I think we're now gonna try to get a taxi to go to a beach. We're headed to Cocoa Beach. <laughs> I had a thought earlier to keep the sun on my face because I'm developing sun blisters on my forehead. Say hi to the vlog. We'll say hi. <laughs> she gets stage fright. Yeah, we spent the whole morning walking around. I look like I have no St. Eyebrows. Martin's. You have no energy left. Is that what you said? No, no eyebrows. And now we're getting to getting ready to get a taxi to go to Cocoa Beach, which is a beach on the French side of the island, recommended by the people mm -hmm. of this hotel. We stopped by this hotel to get coffee and drinks. Which I think is a smart move on our decision because they were able to do everything for us despite the fact that we literally aren't staying here. <laughs> and we don't have a reservation. You can speak the language of the French side. You speak French? Oui, oui. <laughs> Give me a drink. McKinsey's done. McKinsey's done with him. It's better than his accent he was doing earlier. French in that accent. <laughs> It's quite the art piece. What do we think this is? It's art piece. Oh, they have another one right there. This would be it.
back in the room from St. Martin's. It was such a fun day. We, I'm just gonna do a little recap because I feel like I mainly did a lot of collage type clips and just put them together, you know what I mean? So, let's recap. Saying, bro. Mom, I'm saying, bro. <laughs> let's recap the day. Woke up, ate breakfast in the solarium, which is basically like the, like one of the diners, dinner places on the ship where it's like buffet style food. Then we left the ship. We wandered into the town of St. Martin's. Is it Martin or Martin for the Dutch side? Martin. Yeah, so St. No, because it's French is Martin. They just spell it differently. It's pronounced the same. Okay, so St. Martin's on the Dutch side. The if you don't duh. know. <laughs> If you don't know, the island of St. Martin is actually owned by two different countries. Half of the island is owned by the Dutch, the other half is owned by the French. We started on the Dutch side, which is where the port for the cruise is, and we wandered around the town for a little bit. We popped into some shops. We went to a lot of liquor stores because my dad was looking for a specific type of bourbon. We did that, and we got coffee at this like little hotel area. Then we decided we wanted to go to a beach that was kind of off the beaten path and not super touristy, so we took a cab ride up to Cocoa Beach, which is on the French side, so you literally just you need a car to get from the Dutch side to the French side, which is kind of cool. And we stayed on Cocoa Beach all day. It was like literally stunning. If I had to describe me in a beach, that would be the beach that I would describe me as, minus all the seaweed. There was so much seaweed. and. We talked to one of the locals and she said that this started happening like four years ago and now it just consistently happens and there's nothing they can do about it other than rake it. So that was like the one downside was that there was a crap ton of seaweed but the aesthetic of the place we went to was stunning. It was like a little beach club. We rented a few chairs. We had basically beachside service the whole day. Ate some lunch, drank some drinks. I got mad sunburn like I my face is sunburned my chest is sunburned my stomach is sunburned part of my leg is sunburned but I kept reapplying it's just the sun here is literally so strong that I don't think I could keep up with it we had to be back on the ship by 5 30 so we ended up back here went to the pool for a little bit ate dinner and we just saw an ice skating show and that has been the whole day it's been a lot of fun we're exhausted, or I'm exhausted, I'll speak for myself. It's like 9.30 at night and literally my whole family is in bed. Also because we have St. Thomas tomorrow, which is like the second location on the cruise, and we're doing a 7.30 a.m. catamaran cruise snorkeling situation, like snorkeling cruise around two of the islands near St. Thomas. So we have to be up really early for that, which means that we need to go to bed semi-early so that we're not completely exhausted. But yeah, that's been the whole day. It's been a lot of fun. Like I said, I'm very sunburned and I'm very tired. So we're gonna catch some sleep and then I'll pick up the camera again tomorrow in St. Thomas, although I think it's gonna be mainly iPhone clips because I don't wanna bring my camera on the boat just because I feel like that would be like an actual recipe for disaster. So. Quality might change a little bit tomorrow, but honestly, iPhone quality is kind of good nowadays, so I feel like it doesn't really matter. Good morning from St. Thomas. This is the outfit of the day. We're getting ready to leave for a little boat cruise. Actually, we're going to breakfast first, and then we're going to the boat cruise. But this is the hat I bought yesterday in St. Martin. Swimsuit is Kiwana. I'm wearing a little button-up and jean shorts. I am, like, literally so sunburned on my stomach so i wanted something that i could button up and hide from the sun today and how are we feeling feel great tired a little bit very tired <laughs> Hello. 
I haven't vlogged much today. We spent the whole day at St. Thomas. I got a few clips on the boat cruise that we went on. It was a snorkeling and swimming boat cruise. So the first half, they sent us to this cove. It's called Turtle Cove. If you guys have ever been here. And we did snorkeling, obviously. I'm like also still half asleep. I literally just woke up from a nap. So I sound kind of dumb trying to explain this. So the first half was snorkeling. Second half, they took us to like a beach and pulled up and we went swimming and just kind of hung out in the water for an hour. They provided free booze. It was a good time. My hair looks literally crazy. Time in the sun today. Then we came back to the port where the ship was pulled up and we shopped around at a bunch of the shops that were nearby and ate lunch at a little restaurant that was called something. It had like a funny name. If I can find it, I'll put it on the screen. Here's the person that likes to make all the noise. Woo. <laughs> You are killing, I'm really, you are killing me. Just two seconds. And then you can make all the noise that you want. This is us after sharing a room together for five days. <laughs> and I just took a nap. I had like a heat rash on my back and needed to cool off. So I like literally laid on my stomach for about an hour with a washcloth on me and cooled down my back. The heat rash is now completely gone, but that was fun because it was really itchy. And now we're getting ready to go walk around the ship for a little bit. We have like an hour before we have to go to dinner. We need to turn all those towels in. We have literally so many of them, it's actually gross. So we're gonna turn those towels in, walk around the ship. I'll take you guys with me. Puerto Rico. We miss you. Miss you, love you. Open sesame. This is where we've been eating a lot of lunch. Oh. Oh, there's a line for it. Oh yeah, it's not open. When you step on those steps, they make piano noises and a song plays and it's wild, so. I don't know where someone is walking down them, but they're making the noise. Oh, right here. Oh no, not that kid. Oh yeah. Oh wait, you can see it better now. So yeah, this is a piano step and when you walk down it, music plays. Also, we have yet to see them change the floor, and that's a goal. We have two days left to see them change the floor. We're walking the track. We're walking, you know, backwards on the track right now. We're not supposed to be walking this way. Hey, Puerto Rico. Hey, hey. We can actually talk now. So we're going to go to dinner in like 30 minutes, but I think we're going to try to play the pong table in here. Play some ping pong, because we have a show at 8. So we have to literally go directly from dinner to the show. And I think it's a juggling show. My dad signed us up all up for like the shows on day one. And we've seen a lot. We've seen ice skating, hairspray. Um, we had a family game show, a comedy show. And this, I don't think it's down here. Yeah, this is Where? So we're gonna see the struggling show. And then I think we have two more shows. We have like one literally every single night. Okay, update. We couldn't play ping pong because there were some children playing ping pong. <laughs> Tried to play shuffleboard and there were people playing shuffleboard too, so. Back in the room, getting ready for dinner. I cleaned up a little bit in here because my clothes were in fact everywhere. I know it still kind of looks messy, but I feel like this is better than what it was before. And he was giving me shit for it, so I needed to clean it up. I wasn't giving you shit for it. And please add poops to it. <laughs> um, I changed for dinner. I'm wearing this little bodycon black dress. I wore this the first night. You guys wouldn't have seen because I didn't vlog. But I only wore it for a few hours, so I decided to put back on for dinner. And it's cute. It has this little detailing in the back with the straps. It's from Forever 21 last year, I think. I like that it is midi length and it has a little slit. Then I put on my gold jewelry. I'm leaving my hair in a bun because we went in the ocean today and I haven't washed it yet, so it is in fact very nasty. And I need to wash it at some point, but not right the second. I also kind of think that the bun is sort of a vibe. And it's a vibe. The lighting in this room is really bad. Actually, so. check out the back of your bun. It's not a vibe. What do you mean? It's hanging. You've got like <laughs> hair coming out. It's so funny from like the side. <laughs> Wait. You should keep it. Can I see? Well, yeah, but like get it from the side, like side. Show the back of my hair. So turn, yep. It's not a vibe. Wait, turn the other way. No, turn again. Is it because this is hanging out? Turn again. No, nope, nope, nope. Head. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It 
it was it because this is hanging out? There you go. Yeah. Or is it just like if the waffle back of my head looks like a rat? No. You just. Anyways, <laughs> wearing these slides. They don't really match, but I've been wearing them the whole cruise, and they're like my new favorite thing ever. I should have gotten them in black because I feel like it would have matched more. But I'm obsessed with them, and they are literally so freaking comfortable. It's not a vibe. Stop. <laughs> We tried to play pickleball. Shuffleball. Oh, pickle shuffleball. <laughs> and the boards were, or the, the place where they had the game was like completely packed. So now we're playing shuffleboard. I've never played this in my life, so watch me make a fool of myself. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my holy hope. I look for the things I don't know Update I won the first round mm -hmm. He won the second round mm -hmm. So he won shuffleboard Although I will have to say that last game, I pretty much won all of his points for him. Scored which, more than half my points. Yeah, which I don't know if that means that I'm really good or really bad. Probably really bad. Really good. You're really so good at good. scoring other people's points. You meant to do that. Yeah. Yes. And now, if ping pong's open, I'm gonna kick his booty at ping pong. Or so she says. Wait, that's the ping pong table? Yes. No, it's not. Oh, it's not the table. No, it's not the other chair. Oh, okay. Stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last to know. We're all in. I won at least one round of ping pong. We couldn't play best of three because there's someone waiting for the table. She's number one. But we tied, kind of, because you won one game and I won one game. True. And now we don't know what we're doing, but we're drinking water. Gotta hydrate. You go see the rock climbing wall has a weight. Is it open air? I don't know. But it's right there. Yeah. So we can go check. It's been the one bad part is that it's almost impossible to get any sort of seat by any pool when we're at sea because everyone's trying to be by the pool. And it's a little bit annoying because it's almost like too hot to lay outside without the pool, but there's no chairs by the pool, so. Stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know. for the shower we went and laid out for a little bit this morning and it was only, it was so hot outside we literally only lasted like an hour the sun is extremely strong on the ocean apparently and then we ended up meeting up with my sister and her boyfriend and we played shuffleboard again for a little bit clearly we're just very into shuffleboard today now we're back taking showers john's in the shower now I'm gonna jump in the shower after and then I think we're just gonna go like sit and watch the ocean. We wanna sit in the shade, find some nice chairs and relax for a little bit. We don't really know what to do today because the days that we've been at sea we have been laying out by the pool, but we are going to Coco Cay tomorrow which is Royal Caribbean's island in the Bahamas and we're gonna be outside literally from 11 to whatever time we have to get back on the ship. So I just wanna be mindful of the fact that we're gonna be in the sun literally all day tomorrow so I probably don't need as much sun exposure today I'm trying to protect my skin and just like not be so exhausted you know so that's the current update I feel really greasy right now I put on um banana boat 
tanning oil, which is also probably contributed to why baking in the sun. I probably shouldn't have done that. And also, I don't even feel like I looked that tan on the camera, but in real life, you can definitely tell that I got some color. And I got some color on my face, but I'm honestly not that burned anymore. I was burned like the first two days, and now we're chilling. Hello, Ramona. I mistook you for a dream. The engine glows, and I guess you always seem to know. Hello, Ramona. I push back the serious feeling, the ends unknown. To get back the life. Say like good morning. Used. Good morning. You have like, okay, wait, your bathing suit strap is sticking out of the, your hair. So it looks like, I don't know, like, <laughs> weird. You got a worm coming out. Yeah, it looks like you have worms coming out of your head. Good morning. Oh, wait, we walked down that many flights of stairs. Oh, there's no 13th floor. <laughs> We're at Coco K. Last day on the ship. Last Sad. Day on the ship. Stop repeating everything <laughs> no, I said. No, I'm hyping you up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not. This is not anything other than just gassing you up right now. Okay, moment. thank you. I appreciate it. Welcome. We're at Coco K, which Coco is Coco <laughs> <laughs> which is Royal Caribbean's island in the Bahamas. Perfect day. Let's go. So we're in the Bahamas. <laughs> that first coffee. <laughs> Wow. What kind did you get? Um, I got the hydrogen peroxide <laughs> minus the peroxide, and I'm not really a milk guy anymore, so I just said hold that. And yeah, I don't want to waste plastic and hurt the turtles, so I asked it without a cup too, so. Wow, I gotta try that next time. It's good, trust me. Great, noted. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Cabana for the day. We have two, four chairs, an umbrella, we get snorkeling gear, there's a bar. Wow, I'm in paradise. That's cute. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Okay, as you guys can see, I'm back in New York, but I never gave the cruise vlog like an official wrap up or outro or anything like that. So I'm just going to do that really quickly, recap the cruise, give my review, talk a little bit more about it, and then close out the vlog. Overall, the cruise was literally a 10 out of 10 experience. It was so much fun. I would highly recommend Royal Caribbean for literally any 
cruise that you plan on doing in the future i'm actually going on another royal caribbean cruise in july with my friends different ship different vibe different place but i'm so excited for it because this past royal caribbean cruise that we just went on was so much fun for this past one we went on symphony of the seas which is the second largest ship that they had and i would definitely say that it's perfect for families for little kids they have like kids rooms they have shows they have tons of pools they have so much to do like we, we were literally never bored on the boat because there was so much to do also i felt like it was the perfect number of days and the perfect number of stops as you guys saw in the video, we went to St. Martin, St. Thomas, and Coco Cay. St. Thomas and Coco Cay were probably my favorite places that we went. I liked St. Martin a lot, but I just preferred St. Thomas and Coco Cay a little bit more, I think, for the experience and what we did and stuff like that. Would also recommend booking excursions to the cruise because the snorkeling and the half snorkeling half beach day that we did at st thomas was probably one of the highlights of the trip for me i absolutely loved it i thought snorkeling was so much fun and that beach was really cute so that was definitely one of my favorite parts and then their private island in the bahamas is just really cool too and like a unique experience and it's literally massive so overall the cruise was a lot of fun would highly recommend good for couples good for families good if you just want to go and do something alone like take a solo cruise i don't know why not but it was a lot of fun and i just wanted to close out the vlog by saying that because it was such a good experience and i'm like i said i'm already so excited for the one that i'm taking in july because royal caribbean just does it right honestly and also if you guys have seen the carnival cruise ship that's trending carnival like literally caught on fire a few days ago the boat that was in turks and caicos their like little engine thing caught on fire while they were docked so Royal Caribbean Carnival. Absolutely no offense <laughs> to anyone that likes Carnival, but that video scared me and I just liked my experience with Royal Caribbean a little bit better. I've been on one other cruise before and it was a Disney cruise and Disney was definitely a lot of fun, but for my age and since I don't have any little kids or little cousins or anything like that, Disney probably wasn't really the way to go anymore, although you could do it as an adult too. It was it would be just as fun, but really enjoyed my experience. So that is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was a little bit all over the place because I was trying to live in the moment but also have fun and vlog for you guys. So I think the majority of it is kind of like montage type clips. And then when I was talking, I was talking for five minutes straight, which is I guess kind of normal for my vlogs if you guys have been around for a while. <laughs> but definitely was like not the normal travel vlogs or vlogs in general that I put out. I was just trying to get as much content as possible with also living in the moment so that's what went on there but thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up i am based out of new york city that's where i am now i live in new york but i literally travel all the time and packing videos and travel videos are like literally some of my favorite 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 videos to film edit and post on my channel because not only can i look back at them to enjoy the memes but i also just think that they're such fun vlogs to watch and i enjoy watching them so i also enjoy creating them so if you like that kind of stuff you should stick around subscribe below and i will see you guys in my next video bye you can say i lost my mind i will keep on holding my head high